do me a favor, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We're dropping a different video today, man. We're doing something real different for y'all. Shout out to my son in the back. You heard? But let's get straight into this shit, man. Why dating in 2023 is so hard? Now, we wrapping up this year, but let's 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 see what my son got to say. My son off of fucking rich and unemployed. What's so hard about dating? <laughs> What's so hard about dating? Yeah. Right now. I what feel like men it? are just not willing to date women anymore. I feel like they want to be courted as well. Uh-huh. And I feel like it's like that ego, you know, that mm. back and forth of planning a date. I feel like that's the bare minimum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you first meet somebody, plan a date, mm-hmm. pick her up, have flowers. That's like basic. That's real. That's regular shit. First date, yeah. yeah. But first I don't know, men. Fi- I don't think men like women anymore. No funny. Hold on. What? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not go- the extent because he heard what I heard, and that's my initial reaction as well. But it's kind of some truth to what she's saying. The way niggas be talking about these joints, I I fake be thinking. Like these niggas don't like women, bro. Like the first of all, I'm not even trying to go like feel me go mad deep into this shit. The way, the way like how do you say? I'm trying to get a, a complete thought though. Like you go on like Twitter and shit. The way I be seeing like the woman and the male dynamic and like the back and forth and like oh men should do this or women should do this. Already I kind of don't be agreeing with because whatever works for you may not work for the next person. So you got to go every, everything situation based. So yeah, you got to go like based off of your situation or what y'all got going on. You feel me? Every, it's like a marriage, my nigga. Your marriage and what y'all got in your situation and your marriage may work with you and her. But in another relationship or situation, it may not work. And that's just what it is, my nigga. But the way these y'all, some of y'all niggas be talking about these women, bro, I'll be like, damn, my nigga, do you not like, you not like girls, my nigga? Like, you like men or some shit? Like, it be, don't get me wrong, some bitches be dragging it. Some of the joints on there, like, they use certain shit to, like, make niggas try to look crazy or, like, they use the gay shit, the gay shit a little bit because they know, like, emasculating niggas, like, make them feel away. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a way for women to get at a nigga without getting at a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But no funny shit. Sometimes I be kind of like, yo, you niggas like girls? Like, y'all niggas dead. It sound like y'all hate the joints. <laughs> Low key. I feel it. You look surprised. I'm very surprised. Why? It's not the reality, women. though. I mean, you may love women, but. I love them, yo. It's nothing better. I don't know. I just feel like that's your counterparts. It's still. And even some people may say that you might not like women off of some of the comments that you say. That's you know, what I'm like saying. in this generation anything that you post or if you have an opinion on yeah. or you know you're that's doing not certain going things, to the, they're like that's not like generate like <laughs> as far as that's not the general belief or like that's not the same page everybody else is on like that's why they be on kanye hills bro because he he's a he's an outspoken slash like i don't want to say overthink or like uh, uh what's the word i'm looking for like the niggas are out of like out of the box kind of thinking don't get me wrong some of his shit but uh, a lot of shit people got to realize is he be like rambling a little bit and then also he'll throw a lot of good shit in there but they'll catch him when he's rambling saying some bullshit. That's just what it is, bro. Every every part of your argument is not going to be sound all the time. I think that's not a realistic thing. You're not going to say the right thing 24-7 and that's what the world is starting to become. Pay attention, my nigga. Being politically correct, if you're not politically correct, you you damn near were. If you know, if you know, you know. I feel like everything's so social. I feel yeah, like people live off fact. of this social media, not really that's in real life. You know, mm-hmm. the things that you're talking about and everything mm-hmm. else. So I hate when I see those comments like, "Oh, he's not gonna like women." Oh, you gotta be gay. Yeah, like, nah. I mean, because everything's gonna be a debate, and everything's situational per the person. Mm-hmm. So my point, bro. I don't know. I I just saying that off of like my own experience. I've met guys who have been really, you know, great men, and you know, they check some boxes, and then there's some boxes they just, you know, don't check. Like we just don't have that compatibility feel. Mm-hmm. I also think that's my problem. It's just I was about to ask. Yeah, I was about to ask. So if a man, because I I know in a relationship, it's going to be certain things that you don't like in your partner, right? And it's going to be some things maybe they can work on and maybe I can move forward with or whatever the case may be for it. But as far as women, and I have this question for her too, like if who's really going to check off every single box and how many of those boxes are you going to be willing to, to check off versus like not be able to deal with? Like if it's 10 things on the list, he checks off eight. Is he disqualified? 
or is or does it depend on what 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 which one of those checks check offs that you kind of like value cuz obviously you're going to value certain of those certain certain things on that list more than others right so my question is how many do you need to check off and how like what are you willing to put up with or or, or I would say I guess not have or whatever the case may be that like, you just meet someone still. and it just feels right like right now, low key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly what you said. Men want to be courted. In what way? Like that's because they don't have plans. They're always wanting to when they meet you, and they're like, "Oh, what would you like to do?" And there's nothing wrong with like conversations or trying to get to know someone and what exactly that they like. But it's like I'm not going to plan the whole date out for you. No, that's a fact. That's just something I I'm just not going the to first do. Thing. The first day. That's great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you ask certain questions, you get to know what I like and then you know how to plan accordingly. I'm not going to give you a list of all my favorite restaurants and you like, well, I just want to make sure I take you somewhere that you really like. If you are creative enough and you have a great conversation, I'm going to like you in general. No That's matter fair. what you I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, super bougie like that. But some people um, are. That's the way. That and then just court it. Like even to. just afterwards, like, you know, I want to date with someone. He didn't text me. Like, did you make it home safe? Mm. He was like, why you hit me up? See if I'm at home. That's what, what? he did. That's mad. Yeah, thing. like, <laughs> I'm confused. And I also pay attention to, like, if you walk into my car, if you make sure I got in and drove off before you. He was out of there. <laughs> what if someone kidnaps me once you are gone? So it's, like, small stuff like that. Or even just when it comes to, like, conversations, it's just, like, you know, I wake up early. A lot of people expect me to always be like, you know, good morning sometimes. But, you know, women want to feel special that you thought about them when you wake up. So mm. I just feel like those small things just kind of show like men wanting you to put in effort. And they're like, well, you're not getting to know me or you're not doing this. And it's just like your conversation sucks. Mm. Your dating sucks. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not getting to know you. <laughs> Interesting. Well, one thing I think maybe they could be intimidated by you. And so, um, yeah, that's true. They don't want to. They don't want to lose you. The guy played devil advocate for sure. So early on by taking to the wrong place. Because, okay, if you don't have any conversation, then it would be hard to pick a, a spot where, like, okay, it's not as entertaining. And yeah. now I got to sit in front of you for like an hour or two. And shit, I'm damn near nervous as hell. But why are you intimidated by the woman you're asking on a date? What? Because, let me, let me answer this before my son goes on. So I don't know what you about to say. I've never seen this before, but. If you're a very attractive woman and you're established or like, I feel like if it, I don't know how other niggas think, but if I'm taking you out somewhere nine times out of 10, I feel a way about you as far as like, don't get me wrong. I can go on dates and just have fun and I can just be like living life on some, you know what I'm saying? Fucking like, what's the worst that can happen type shit? But like when you really take out a person who I don't know what you do with your time, with your life, but you take out somebody who may be a little bit more established and maybe have like shit going on and like super fine, like super beautiful and all that. Like, it could be intimidating because you don't know what kind of person this really is. And by taking them to the wrong place, you know what I'm saying? First impression is key. You may take them to somewhere that you think is nice or may, maybe that she may have hinted at would be like, mm, okay. And then the scenery may, or, or whatever the case may be is not up to par. And then it's kind of already a strike against them. And then your body language or like how you carry it. Like, it, you, if a, if a nigga like you, I'm not going to lie, you could, it's easy to make a nigga nervous a little bit. Like, don't get me wrong, like, quivering in the boots is crazy, but I am going to be a little a little more self-aware of what I'm saying, how my body language is, how I'm talking to you, what am I doing, you know what I mean? It's, and that's, I feel like that's natural, bro. Like, that's not a... Men men have nerves and, and shit like that, too. Like, what causes that intimidation? Like, even just, like, I, I went out with someone, and he, on the first day, he was like, so you got them little salons? He was like, how much you make a year? Oh, no, nah, that's crazy. See, okay, so I'm assuming you do hair and shit like that, like, if you have, like own your own business, like that's that'll make a nigga nervous a little bit. Like, what if he don't? He he's not at the same level you are, or you make a substantial amount more money than me. Not that that matters, but at the same time, on some shit like, as far as okay, she has ten businesses. She's probably a super busy woman. I work. I save money here and there. Like I do. I do what I can, but I know like I can't. If we were to get something serious or we were to take forward, like, t take some some kind of precedent somewhere, like, where am I really going to stand with her? Like, am I, is she going to have time for me? 
is this gonna go any further or is like you know what i mean like just regular questions that's fire that you own that shit though shout out to you queen i was like what <laughs> he's wild though. you know what i'm saying and so i'm like even still it's like st- like comments like that it's just kind of yeah, no, like you don't ask shit like that I didn't get, I feel like I've lived three lives, Mm -hmm. like as a teacher, as a bottle girl and as a successful business owner. Cause sometimes you just say business owner, but like, if you're still building, men will still treat you as like, you know, Mm -hmm. but I feel like no one's ever asked me how much I made Mm -hmm. on a day like that. And I was like, just put it out there. Okay. Did you tell him? No, I didn't tell him. What what am I telling you how much I made for? That's fine. Women ask guys. I don't ask men that. That's fire. I don't ask them how much they made, especially yeah. not on the first date. Like, oh, okay, yeah, good for you. yeah, I'm not, I'm not asking you how much you make. I'm going off of, um, you know, how you presented yourself, like mm-hmm. clean cut, like you know, the See, conversation. And I feel like, like this is not the majority of women on social media what they portray. I'm not gonna lie. This is a very humble. And I'm not trying to shit on her because some for some reason humble it can be a negative connotation. I'm not trying to make it like one. But she seems like a very respectful and a very like she was like, I don't want to say raised right, but like she went through certain things I feel like in her life and it has gave her this outlook and she seems very like chill. Like a very you can have a good conversation where there ain't gonna be none of that bullshit social media talk. Like, yeah, I need my man to ha- make this ex some you know what I'm saying? Like she seems like a very reasonable person. Like a very down to earth person, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And that's fire. How did you approach this situation? Especially with somebody who has successful businesses and have done what she's done. I don't know per se, but that's fire. That's what's yeah. up. Keep um, doing keep doing your thing, Queen. Honestly, I think have I been on the date with someone I've never known what they've done? I've had. Like I, I don't I don't think I'm super nat like narrowed in onto what how much do? money you make, that's if fire. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's not I feel like, like you that don't a, to be a rapper, trapper, ball player, you know, things of that sort. It's I like, like really about a the, genuine the dating, connection. Just a little but bit I told you, I'm yeah. intentionally dating. I'm not yes. dating for fun. Yes. I feel like when you're dating for fun, you want to go for like someone that got some money because you don't. Like, I want to go to Miami tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting to think about it. That's a fact. This is very interesting. I really, I, this is why I be wanting to bring somebody on my show. Let me know if y'all want me to bring somebody up here. I want to have conversations like this with them. I want to ask them like certain things, like get in a get into their head, see where they really at. Especially people around my age in Jersey and shit like that. But like, comment, subscribe, man. Shout out to Sun for the content, man. Make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, and tell them I sent y'all, man. Word.